what is going on everybody tuned up ty back at it with another video and today uh we're gonna be doing another modification to the x3 right behind me uh right now it's gonna be a tail light mod for the day so i don't know if you guys can see but like these tail lights they're okay i mean they are pretty bright and whatnot but i just i don't know i don't really like the design it's not really feeling like the plans I have for the rest of the car to make it aggressive for me. So like, I don't know, you look at the rest of the car and then you look at the tail lights and it just like, looks like an eyesore for me, you know? So what we got today is the LCI tail lights from the 2023 or 2022 uh, X3 models, I believe. And those are gonna be looking a lot better. They look like a freaking, like a little halo sword. So uh, hopefully it looks a lot better on this car. Uh, I do like that it has a blacked out housing. Like it's more, like if you remember the F chassis days on the F30 or the F80, how uh, they come with the smoked out or the, uh, what's the word for it? The CS or competition ones. But yeah, I believe there was a certain tail light that comes with the smoked out or like the more like blacked out inner lens on the tail lights. That's what these X3 LCI tail lights look like. So it's gonna blend in more with the paint and make it look a little bit more shadowy and more aggressive. So this is the new tail light. Uh, it's a four piece, so it's gonna be inner and outer. Let me just flip it around for you guys. As you can see, it's heavily blacked out on the edges. So this is gonna look really freaking nice. Um, that's the outside for the right side. Uh, the inside, I think this is the inside on the right hand side. Yeah, so it'll be like this along with the rest of the housing. And I'm hoping these are pretty bright, you know. Uh, these are supposed to have like a sequential setup so when I'm having the turn signals on, the middle uh, turn signal go like like that in a line. But other than that, they are pretty close to OEM. These are yellow uh, turn signals, not red. So that's the only difference compared to OEM. But aside from that, it should be pretty good. So let's get right into it. All right, so first things first, we're gonna do the inside on the left-hand side. All right, so once we get into this little compartment here, you see that bolt right there, you're gonna wanna remove that. I have a, uh, a ratchet with a 10 millimeter uh, socket. So you can just unbolt that, and then that should be able to let you pull it out. Uh, before you pull it out, you're gonna wanna take this clip out. I have a trim tool, if I can find it right here. I have a trim tool, so you just wanna uh, wedge that in between like that and then you can unbolt these two I think these are 10 mil yep these are 10 mil as well so once you remove one two and three uh, you should be able to slide it out as well as disconnecting the harness which you will see once you start to remove this all right all right now that we uh, removed those three screws uh, one two three uh, there's a little harness right here as you can see in the middle you want to push that in and then just clip out the harness and then you should be able to remove the headlight the uh, tail light with ease all right now that we have that side out uh, we're gonna put the new one in like that uh, but we're gonna have to plug in the harness first after we plug in the harness we're gonna do the same three screws the one two and three from the inside of the trunk and then we'll be able to start heading on to the inner alrighty so we got the left outside tail light in it looks insanely good so far um, I really, I really, really like this, man. This is crazy, wow. Very, I like this, man. This is really aggressive. <laughs> Holy shit. All right, man. 
I don't want to turn it on just yet, but um, you know what? Actually, screw it. Let's turn it on. As you can see, that's the sequential effect. Goes back and forth. And I can say this is really bright compared to the other side already. So we're going to start uh, the other side uh, as well as getting into the inners and we'll wrap this up. Now to get into the top part, uh, you're going to go into this little compartment. This is covered by this little piece, which you could just use a pry tool, pry it right off. Uh, so in here, in order to get access to this bolt, because it's kind of weirdly positioned, which we can't really get to, you're going to want to remove those T20s on both sides. I'm using this little screw. So with this, you're going to do that on both sides. So I know this looks a little crazy right now, but all we did was, uh, it's hard hard to do this with one hand but all we did it was like have it like that uh i pulled down on the edges all around there let me just lay this down for a quick second so i pulled them down on the edges like this all around so there's like little clips you want to just unbolt those i mean not unbolt those but like basically pull down and then um once you get to this side, like when you want to remove this area, I found that pushing this outward to release this made it fall right through. You don't want to uh, pull it too hard because these are connected to the trunk. So yeah, leave those right there. Do not want to touch those. What we're going to be touching though, <laughs> what we're going to be touching though are these bolts right here, uh, as you can see. One, two, and three. And I think these are both, I think these are 10 mils as well. Oh no, these are eight mils. All right, so you're gonna use an eight millimeter socket to remove both of them. I keep saying both of them, three of them. And then once you do that, uh, that'll be able to let you slide it completely off and install the new ones. Now, now that you successfully removed those little eight millimeter bolts um this one i oh, forgot to mention this does stay inside this little yellow housing as you can see right there so you're just gonna want to pull that down it's from right here that's what like aligns it into the, the frame of the trunk i believe so yeah you're gonna remove that off and then with that just remember to unplug this wire just like that once you do that to push this upward there's these little plastic pins one two and three you're gonna push that all in so you could like push this side up like that and then just have the the tail the tail like like this outward of the trunk hey y'all i forgot to mention this is the there's actually a fourth uh, nut that you gotta remove from the inner tail light and that is inside at this little hole right here you can't really see it from the side but once you look in it's right there as you can see this will be one two uh, what's the third one? Three. So one, two, and three. And once you remove those, as you can see, out like butter. All right, so with this, into the dusty old box. And with the new one, is what we're gonna place into the trunk. And with the new one, same thing as always, <laughs> throw that bitch right on. Uh, it should be the same process as you just removed it. You align the little screw points into the holes that we showed. So there's one, one, two, 
Uh, where's the third one? And three, right in there. Once you align those, you should be able to fit that all in. Uh, this time, I noticed that there's only two of these little pins right here. So it should be easier to install when clipping it to the frame of the trunk. Once you do that, with the same harness that you pulled out, plug that right back into the actual light housing. And then you could do a test run. Well, you know what I mean. You can do a little light test to see how you like it. Right now, we're almost like 80% done. This looks really freaking good. As you can see. So yeah, we're gonna finish uh, the other side, put everything back together, and then we're gonna show you the final product. Alrighty guys, and here's the surprise of the tail lights. I'm not gonna lie, this shit looks crazy. <laughs> this shit looks freaking crazy. Even just like the side profiles, like it's like a huge upgrade. I don't know. It's like <laughs> it looks like a whole different car. These look amazing. All right, so let me just stop. Let me stop fronting. Let me stop fronting. Let me turn the car on. As you can see, that's the animation, and these things look fucking sick super fucking sick i really like how it has this little like side lamp led so you can see from from the side but even from like over here like the whole tail light is super bright like let's just redo it again it almost has like a lava effect which is pretty cool but yeah this looks pretty good um i'm not gonna lie to fitment I would rate the fitment like eight out of 10. There's some little gaps, uh, but again, you know, it's aftermarket. You are getting something that's not OEM. Uh, let's put on the hazards for you guys so you can see how it looks. Ugh. Yeah, but you are, you know, getting something that's not OEM. So there is gonna be some imperfections, but um, as you can see here, guys, this is how it looks with the hazards. It's like a yellow uh, sequential light along with the brake light, which is pretty cool. Um, part of me, part of me does wish that the, the yellow light on the inside was red to like match how the OEM uh, spec out LCI tail lights are. But at the end of the day, you know, I'm not complaining. It matches the mirror uh, sequential, not sequential, but the mirror turn signals, which is pretty cool. Um, next, I'll say I'll have to probably black out those reflectors to make it look really nice and flush. Um, but aside from that, let's look at the animation with the hazards on. That looks really good. Really good. But then again, guys, this was the installation for the taillights. Um, let me just show you the inside of the trunk. We did seal back. <laughs> don't mind this i uh when i was <laughs> when i was putting this back together i uh actually lost this part <laughs> that one that part is like nowhere to be found right now if you're wondering what that is it's like a little uh clamp or i guess clip for the weather strip right here so this still works uh it's nothing to do with the tail light itself i just lost the clip so until i get that it's probably like a dollar or two on amazon uh, until i get that it's gonna be like another little annoyance annoying thing to deal with but yeah we did put back the trunk liner all together nice and flush nice and nice and flush all around um i'm not gonna lie putting the trunk back up was an annoying part well i will say but once, I'll say like, if you have another friend, have them hold this up while you align it into the trunk again. But if not, I found that like lowering the trunk downward, like halfway, and then like just holding your head on this side while you punch in the other side, uh, was quite quicker and easier for me to reinstall it back together. But uh, aside from that, I can't complain. Uh, it looks really good. 
I'm very happy with the results. What's up everybody? Unfortunately, my phone had just died before I finished the video, so that kind of sucks. And also, if you guys have any comments, concerns, or even questions, or you just wanna say what's up, let me know. Um, but yeah, little update though. As for the car, I'm actually glad this kind of broke down the video because I can give you guys this news right now. Uh, little update on the car. Uh, if you guys didn't know, I was preparing to go to America versus the world, I believe it's two Sundays ago. Today is April 24th, right? So two Sundays ago, I was supposed to go to America versus the world and my car had actually broke down right before I did the video. So unfortunately, the car is decommissioned for a little bit until we get a new dry shaft to come in. Um, we broke it on a launch. So we're waiting for a new one to come in and also uh, just videos and updates as we go along was gonna be a little bit delayed. I say just a few weeks at most, not even more than a month. But yeah, we're gonna be a little delayed on that so far. But if you guys wait, I promise you the car will be back with more surprises. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, please let me know. Uh, like and subscribe. Peace guys.